email me at the real at gmail. We do let people make payment plans um, for it. So for those of you that ask that, the question is yes, but you have to send the email to the real at gmail.com, request that, and then we will get the information um, uh, from you and hook you up. Okay. Um, let me see what else. Oh, tomorrow, you guys, I will have um a, a email. Okay. I have a call to action system. And so I will be giving you guys the link tomorrow. We have a email that we have drafted for Yo-Yo. Now this is the young woman who was found hanging, who was murdered in um, Florida. Okay. We have been dealing with her sister. Her sister has put together a list of demands. What I will tell you about her case is that um, the police dropped the ball in the sense that they don't give a damn because she's a black woman, right? So this is not one of those instances where the police murder somebody. But let me say something about that too, right? We need to stop just being upset about those things. There are so many things that happen to our people. This young woman was murdered from what I can see, right? From what her sister can see, from what everybody else can see. And the police just don't give a damn because she's a black woman. So obviously it is a form of racism, but at the end of the day, just because they didn't have the hand in doing it, they don't give a fuck. Like the ridiculousness of the shit that I have seen. Her sister gave me her cell phone. I have looked into it. The police don't even want to see the evidence that's in it. She was in an altercation with somebody that night. They fucked up her car, beat out all the windows. These people she's arguing with are in the house. She's fine hanging in the yard. Police never even knocked on the door and said that they weren't able to go in the home. Well, y'all know I called up Nathan Daly, Officer Nathan Daly. I was like, Nathan, is this, this some bullshit? Is this how y'all do things? And even he said, as a police officer, this was some bullshit. The way they investigated this, they didn't even motherfucking care. They closed it up too, too quick and it was bullshit, right? But she wants justice for her sister. The person who done something to her is walking around free. The police never even investigated. It is so much damn evidence and nobody gives a fuck. So we are making demands. I even have a video that I was given by this woman and giving me so much stuff, y'all. That and, and There's no doubt in my mind that this case is some bullshit and she didn't kill herself. OK, so this is my opinion, but it needs to be investigated from what we've seen. But I even have a video of Naomi, which is your, your sister, who um, is recording the, the officer while she is speaking with him. And he doesn't know he's being recorded, but they're in a public place. He's talking to her at the police station. He tells her, yeah, we really fucked up on this one. OK, bro. So we need you to make it right, motherfucker. So I will have a email that she has drafted of our demand. There will be a link for you guys tomorrow. And I'm giving y'all a heads up because I really need y'all to come on and put in this work and, and, and help us out, right? Um, and so I, what I need you to do, you're going to click the link that I'm going to give you. It's going to take you to the website. The email will already be drafted. Where it's going will already be there. All you have to do is sign your name and what city and state you're in so that they understand that people are, are concerned about this case all over the place, not just right here. So they know that there are eyes on them everywhere. And that's all you do. And then you can push send right from the site that we have created for our call to actions. And it's going to email it for you right to the person. Okay. Um, and so all you got to do is put your name, put where you're from and send the send button. Right. And so we will have that for you guys tomorrow to do. And we really need everybody to participate in that. It's a very small thing. So I expect everybody that's watching me tomorrow, everybody I email, there should be thousands of people that can send this email and it's a click of a button. I will say this. Um, some people don't because everybody has to be politically correct or talk professional. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be me. Y'all already know that. So I do want to go ahead and say this. I am going to guilt trip some of y'all already right the fuck now because some of y'all not even going to push that button. And I just want to tell y'all and all of the work that we do, it gets really frustrating to know that we're in a situation where we don't get up and do a goddamn thing about it. And then when people even ask us to do the simplest things, we won't even do that. So it always makes me feel some type of way when a nigga is asking somebody to push a button make a phone call, do some simple shit. And we only get 300 people, 400 people to do it. Now y'all think that sound like a lot. I don't, I don't. <laughs> when I have all the people that are in my email list, when the thousands of people, this video now, we only got 600 people over here on YouTube. We got some folks over here on MX network as well. But when this video is done, just like most of my videos, it will be in the thousands of the numbers, right? 10,000, 16,000 might hit 20,000, who knows, right? But at the end of the day, out of those numbers of people that watch this shit, when only three or 400 people can push a button and send an email and demand justice, I'm going to need anybody that's black that can't, you just should shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear you complain about our situation. I don't want you to cry about the Democrats. I don't want you to be talking about, oh my God, Trump is the devil. You niggas don't care, right? So people who can't do simple shit like that, I don't ever want to hear y'all complain about 
what condition we in as black people because you niggas won't lift a finger. You won't push a button. You won't do shit to get free. Not the simplest things. And so I expect nothing from people like that. And it's really the reason why I feel like we never going to get nowhere because I damn sure know if you're not going to push a button, black folks ain't going to rise up. We is not finna go to war. We are not finna overthrow shit. We not finna take a life. We not finna give our lives. We not finna do none of that. So you know, anybody watching YouTube, y'all got to cut me down because I'm not going to start a revolution because the people listening is not going to fucking get up. OK, so you don't have to suspend my channel. I just want to let y'all know. OK, I'm not a threat. Not that I'm not a threat. It's just the people I be talking to. They, <laughs> they not finna do nothing. I just want to say that. And if anybody feels some type of way about me saying it, I'm just telling y'all the truth. Like we won't get up and do the simplest things is it's. it's I, I ain't gonna say it's baffling to me because it's conditioned. I understand where it come from. Okay. So I want to throw that out there. We'll have that information tomorrow. I will be emailing that out to everybody. So if you're in the email list, please look for that as well. If you are not on the live. Okay. Um, one thing I want to bring up, then we're going to get into this conversation a little bit. We're going to watch something from the news and then we're going to go over to MX network and have this conversation. Okay. Um, but I want to bring up something I thought was really interesting because I hear a lot of people I was talking about felony, felony, felonies. A lot of y'all be wanting to tell me I'm an ex-convict. Now, I will correct y'all like Cat Williams did, the radio lady. I've never been to prison, bitch. Not prison, okay? There's a difference. I'm not an ex-felon, okay? Um, um, an ex-con. I've never been to prison, never served no time, okay? Just got a felony. <laughs> so, I, wanna, I read a post today about a woman who was... Um, at the gas station, she found a loophole of how to play the gas station. So they have, I guess, a rewards card. And if you swipe it twice, it puts the pump into, um, I don't know, free mode or demonstration mode. And this helpful was pumping gas for months and months and months. OK, and they did lose a lot of money. OK, they did. She was stealing the fuck out of that gas. OK, but was it really stealing? I mean, your pump gave it away. I'm just I'm just saying. But OK, it's stealing, y'all. But anyway, <laughs> I want y'all to know that she's facing a felony. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because a lot of y'all, even black people, will give me flack about felons and why everybody got felonies. Or some of y'all that be cooning, you be trying to talk about how why so many black folks have felonies, why we feel the jail systems and all of that type of stuff, right? But I will have you know that um, being a felon is the new nigga. OK, even though other people have felonies, you will realize they throw felonies on our people all the time. You know, take a plea deal real quick, because once you get that felony, you can't live certain places like you do know. They ask you landlords all the time. Do you have a felony? They don't care what the fuck the felony is. You got to put whether you got a felony or not if you spill out for a job. So my question would be to y'all. I keep telling you all the time. This is a perfect example that felonies are not all violent. I want you to stop thinking when you hear that black people have a lot of felonies. I want you to stop thinking that somebody shot up somebody's house. I want you to stop thinking that Ray Ray shot into a crowd of people and killed three kids. I want you to stop thinking gang banging. I want you to stop thinking murder. I want you to stop thinking drug dealing. Like, nigga, if you fucking hungry and you write a bad check, it's a felony. Every state has their limit. If their limit is 450, don't you fucking write no bad check for 451 because you will have a felony on your record. And I just be trying to get y'all to understand that concept. And I just thought this was a really great thing to point out that this woman did steal some gas because the gas station's stupid. Um, but at the end of the day, does that mean that she deserves to be outcast from society? The word felony should replace like nigga, because now we can discriminate against you, right? Because every other group of people, they say they're not supposed to discriminate against any goddamn body and they're not supposed to do these things. But when it comes to felons, felons don't really have rights. They do ostracize you from society. They do not allow you to participate in things. They don't give you the things that they give everybody else in society, okay? It puts you in a really fucked up position. And what it does is pushes you out of being able to live, put a roof over your head, find a job. It makes that struggle really real. And they use that as a way to hold people back. And this is why you will find they're constantly giving felonies to niggas. So let me also give you one more pointer because everybody be like, yeah, y'all be talking about all the black people in prison. If they in there, then that must mean they did something. Why are all their numbers in there? I want y'all to know how many of y'all have heard that there is a case of a woman who was a forensic scientist for 30 years, this bitch, over thousands of cases, she purposely tampered. She purposely tampered 
with evidence and, and fucked up people's deal. There's, there's motherfuckers in jail right now. Thousands of them. We can't trust none of these bitches cases. Thousands of people in jail right now. So stop telling me that everybody in jail is guilty. No, they're not. And La Rock, I said I wasn't going to pay no attention, but I'm going to pay attention to this comment because it's not hating on me. It's just a really ignorant comment. Why do black people justify wrongdoing? La Rock. Suck a dick, okay? I, I, I can't stand people like you. You must be one of those coon motherfuckers. Who justified wrongdoing? What I just fucking said to you was is that I want you to understand that felonies are not violent crimes. And even though this lady did steal, I did just fucking say that, you stupid motherfucker. What I said is, do you think that what she did, we in hard times, bitch. Do you think that deserves for this woman to be ostracized from society? I'll wait for your answer. Please give me one. Because I want it. I'm, I'm going to go to teacher mode like we in class. We're waiting on LaRock. We, we, everybody's waiting on you. We, we, we can't move further without you. We're waiting. Wrongdoing is wrongdoing. Oh, LaRock, suck a dick. So what have you done wrong? Why don't you uh, hold to all the wrongs you've done? See this, that wrongdoing is wrongdoing. No, it's not really wrongdoing is wrongdoing. That's like a nigga saying that it's against the law. Every law is not just, it's not right. And you want to talk about black folks making excuses for wrongdoing. Well, tonight, we're going to talk about the wrongdoings of your government. We're going to talk about all of the treachery that's caused on people. Maybe if motherfuckers weren't forced in the situations they were in, people didn't have to steal gas. Okay? Wrongdoing is wrongdoing. That's your answer. That's your answer. You're wrong. Your answer is wrong. You get an F because that's not the right answer in class, right? You're right on some stuff. Again, the right, we're not going to talk to you because people like you, what I'm going to tell you is that you fucking break laws and rules too. And at the end of the day, if you are in a state of desperation or people need things, these things happen all the time. You're stupid. I just really want to tell you that. I don't have no chill factor today. Like you're stupid. You're just stupid. I want you to get off my life and go look in the mirror at yourself. You know how people do like, you know, um, you know, they talk stuff to themselves. They do reinforcements. They do all these affirmations. I want you to go look in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm a stupid motherfucker. Because my point clearly went over your head. Nobody was justified wrongdoing. What I was explaining to you, dumbass motherfuckers who feel like LaRock is that Felonies are something that are not always violent, but yet and still, they always tear down your life. And I was equating the fact that lots of Black people are hit with felonies. And the reason they have those felonies is because they don't have the money to bail out of jail or to fight their case. Do you know that 90-something percentile of all fucking cases in the courtroom are all settled by plea deals? So Black people take felonies all the time when if their pockets allowed them to fight the case, you would find that majority of cases will get dropped. Stopped. And you would have no charges if you could just stand out the test of time. This is a small case. If this woman wanted to take it to trial, it probably wouldn't go. Or the district attorney would drop the charge down to a misdemeanor so she would have a better deal in hand. See, I went to school for criminal justice. Know a whole lot more than the motherfuckers that actually work in that field like the police. So what I'm telling you is that it's a system and you worried about black people's wrongdoing. You ain't worried about the system that fucks over all kinds of people Poor people, more importantly, but in that poor people is black people more than anybody else. Okay? Go look in the mirror and go do your homework assignment that I just fucking gave you. My, 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 let me tell you something. Moderators, you can hit him up. Y'all saying, can y'all ban him? Look, don't ban him right now. If you keep talking shit, let people have their dumbass opinion. I, I, I'm rather amused by stupid people. I really am. And I'm always amused by the black people. And you might not even be black, but I'm just amused at people that come over and they just be wanting to say something so bad. And then they say a, a meaningless statement. I know I cuss a lot. Y'all think I'm an educated bitch. But if you take philosophy, I took philosophy. 
Okay, if you take a philosophy class, they will teach you that it is a term called a meaningless statement. When you're debating somebody or they're making a point, y'all just be giving meaningless statements. Like the shit went over your head. Your comment really had nothing to do with what I said because I didn't justify the lady wrong doing it. I even said her ass was still and we laughed about it. I said, but do you think that warrants? So see, you so stuck in your conditioning that you are not even hearing the debate or the argument that is being made. You heard what you wanted to hear. And then you threw a meaningless statement out there. So let people be dumb. I'm amused by people's stupidity sometimes. I really am. Because I don't care what you think. And I'm amused to watch how grown ass people react the way they do. Right? You're always focusing your, your anger and your energy at the wrong places. You really is. Right? Maybe if they weren't giving away all the money to the goddamn migrants, maybe this lady wouldn't have to steal gas because, you know, if they would give her a big ass check, if they would give her $10,000 a month, if they would give her $4,500 a month to pay her rent, if they would give her a home loan, right, with zero down, like they doing all these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? If they would give her a scooter and then money to put gas in her scooter, she wouldn't have to steal the gas for the car she got, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Y'all be just saying dumb stuff and it's just beyond me because you don't know how to think beyond the depths of this little bitty ass shit that's in front of your face. You got to be deeper than that if you're going to talk to me. So with that said, if the person is bothering y'all or there's haters in the comment section, I don't care if y'all block nobody. If they're bothering y'all, they not bothering me. But if they don't have nothing else to say, let them say what they got to say. You know what I'm saying? They comment ain't bothering me. Now, if they continue to keep bothering y'all or don't shut up in the chat, that's really on y'all. Right? <laughs> That, that's really that's really what you want to do. It, it, you can do it. It's up to you. All right. With that said, you guys, let's get into this conversation. Okay. Um. So how many of you know that we have been talking about this and see this one of these things? People will be like, that's a conspiracy theory. Like when I first told people, all oh, these migrants, they going to they going to use them for votes for the Democrats. People was like, they can't do that. No, they not. Y'all just be saying anything. You know, they was like the person who was just in here. They was like, y'all just be talking. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, just like, I guess we were conspiracy theorists when we was talking about COVID and the vaccination. But now they're admitting that everything that we were conspiracy theorists about was exactly what we said was going to happen. Motherfuckers was falling out, dying. People got weird ass blood clots. We even find out that in the hospital, that they were marking everybody's death as COVID. How many of you knew that? Right? That has come out too. Um, so if you if you died during the pandemic at the point where it was at its height, whenever somebody went into the hospital, if they died from the flu, guess what it was? COVID. If they came in and they died from something else, it was COVID. If they had a car accident and they did, it was COVID. Like they, they equated everything everybody died from in the damn hospital to COVID being the cause of it. So they hiked up them numbers a whole lot. Like they did a whole lot of bullshit and now they've admitted it all. But I remember black people was in my comment section because I don't ever really care about what other people think or how they feel. Like you got your life, you got your folks, you worry about them motherfuckers and we'll worry about us. But it was amazing to me how black people was like, you stupid. Why are you trying to tell everybody not to get your shot? You want people to die. Because y'all trust this, this y'all trust massa, massa government way too much. <laughs> y'all them niggas who be like, come on now, massa just trying to help us out. Why are you telling people not to, not to eat the cornbread and this nigga done made you some Jim Jones Kool-Aid and you gonna drink it, everybody gonna die. You wonder why we don't want to drink it because we know better, right? So again, they say it's all this conspiracy theory. Oh, this can't happen. Oh, these things will never happen. Everything you said that would never happen is happening right now. Like this is the, this is the, you need to pay attention to the century we in. This is the motherfucking most, this damn decade of what we dealing with right now. If you don't know that the most amazing shit is happening right now, not amazing in a good way. But everything we ever said the government was, everything we said since I was 17, baby, I've been talking about the New World Order. You have, I've been hearing about the New World Order. You just heard Goody Mob. Goody Mob talked about the New World Order. In 1995, or was it 94, they brought out that song? And they were talking about the New, so we've been talking about the New World Order since back then. Well, everything we said is happening right the fuck now, right now. But everybody said we was crazy, right? So we crazy. We crazy. And they not going to use them for them boats. I'm going to tell you right now. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Right? So 
I'm going to show you something that the news had to say. And then for those of y'all that need white people and the media and the government to co-sign what's being said before you believe it, I'm going to let you hear the white people tell you, okay? Because some people need that. I, I, I know y'all do. So I'm going to let them tell it to you, but they are going to use these migrants for votes, okay? Um, let me explain something about the Electoral College. How many of you know what the Electoral College is? So when the campaign comes and they're voting, everybody's voting, certain states, when you win this state, you get so many number of votes that get added to that. So they're like fake votes, if you ask me. This is why I've always said that the election is some bullshit. So you win a certain state, every state has a number of electoral college votes, right? And it's based on citizens and the people that are in that city, things of that nature. Some places have more electoral votes than other places do, okay? And so they trying to backdoor us and they're trying to use, just so that you understand what's going on and what you're about to watch, they're trying to use this to count the migrants as voters. So this is the slick bullshit, right? You already know that they're trying to get rid of the voter ID thing, right? So you don't have to bring in ID to vote. That's stupid because then you don't have to prove that you're a citizen. We already talked about that. Like getting ID is not hard to do. If you are a citizen in this country, guess what? If you don't have an ID, you can do a mail-in ballot. It'll come to your house. You still got time right the fuck now to change your address at the welfare office, the library, your mama house, your daddy house, the corner store. You know, it's really accessible. You can go online and probably change your goddamn address. There's a lot of ways for you to vote and get your shit. We don't need them to remove the ID restrictions. That's not going to help anybody but these fucking migrants that are already online screaming to all of their friends in Venezuela and Guatemala and every fucking where else they coming from that y'all need to vote for Biden. And you're wondering, I know, I was like, why are they telling them to vote for Biden? You niggas ain't citizens, you can't vote. Well, they're trying to back Doris. So all of these migrants that are in these cities, they want to count them as citizens, as part of the electoral college, which will give more votes to that state. Now, guess where all of the migrants are? They're in states that are, guess what? Democratic states. Okay, y all, y all, follow me here because you got to put two and two together now. So if this happens, you're going to find that the Democrats are going to benefit from this because all of the sanctuary cities and where all of the motherfucking migrants are, for the most part, are in Democratic states. So we know that they're going to up their votes by doing that. OK, so this is what they're trying to do. Um, another thing I thought was amazing because I'm still not clear and maybe somebody can inform me after you watch this news clip we're about to play. But apparently it was blocked. They tried to make a motion to say we do not want them to be able to be counted. And do you know that all of the Democratic Party that was there to vote, they turned around and they said, we don't want this to be blocked. So they're literally saying, we don't want you to block it. We want the migrants. So they're fighting over blocking this. But my mind says, if you're blocking something, it's already in effect. So have these motherfucking migrants been being counted all along? That's what I need somebody to tell me. Because if you're blocking a measure, that means it's something that already exists. And that's the thing that I'm just trying to wrap my head around. Because you wouldn't be blocking something that doesn't exist. Okay? It, it would be the other way around. They would be putting it on the floor for them to vote on the fact that it should be. So if there are people already trying to block this, that means it's already happening. OK, so I'm going to play this clip and then we're going to have the rest of this conversation. You guys on MX Network while I'm playing this clip, um, because, of course, we're going to be talking about these folks in the government. And besides, I be watching people shit get shut down every goddamn day, y'all. Every day, every day. And I'd be so glad that I have my, my own platform. So my shit ever get shut down. You guys, y'all know where to find me, right? MX Network. <laughs> At least I got a goddamn alternative. Um, so let me say that. No, I don't got the banner up there. Okay, so anyway, you guys, while we're watching this, let me say to everybody, we're not going to be here all night and we are going to go over to MX Network. We're going to play this for you guys to see it because I just want y'all to have the heads up if that's all you know and then you depart from us now. 
Thank you for joining in for these few moments and we'll see you another time. If this is where we part ways, if you want to hear the rest of this conversation um, so we can talk about how all of this unfolds and all of the effects that it really has. And one thing leading to another, we're going to go over to MX Network and do that, you guys, in the description box. As always, the first link, you can get your free subscription if you have not done so yet. And you can come over and you can watch the rest of this live and you can watch it for 24 hours and all the other free content we have. You guys, if you already have got your free subscription, just go over, to click the second link, which will allow you to go get your subscription or log in if you already have one, okay? And you can meet us over there. So I'm going to play this and give you time, guys, for you guys to come over there um, so that when we leave, you guys will already be over there. Shout out to everybody that's already over on MX Network. But let's play this shit. I need y'all to hear this, okay? So y'all listen real good. Hold on. Let me go on over here and cue this up for y'all. Why do we have a fully open southern border? Why is it you are willing to allow fentanyl to pour over and kill 100,000 Americans a year? Why is it you're allowing 169 people on the terror watch list last fiscal year to come over? And I think the only thing people can figure is that the Democrats are bleeding and hemorrhaging voters. They understand that they cannot fool people in this country any longer, so they have to import people. And the only reason you wouldn't want voter ID is if you want people who can cannot vote to vote in these elections. It is insane. Well, this is becoming the issue to watch. That was RNC co-chair Lara Trump with me yesterday on Sunday Morning Futures, warning the Democrats are using illegal migrants to harvest voters. Senate Democrats blocked an amendment on Friday, which would have prevented, uh, prevented illegal migrants from being counted for congressional districting and the Electoral College. All Democrats and Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski voted against that measure. Joining me right now is Tennessee Senator Bill Haggerty. It was his amendment. He moved to include this amendment in the $460 billion spending package. Senator, thanks very much for being here. I want you to tell us about your amendment. It, it was barring illegal aliens from being counted in allotting congressional seats and electoral college votes. Sounds practical. What happened? It certainly does sound practical, Maria. And I think most Americans are shocked to find out that today, Illegal migrants are used in the calculation of the number of people in a given state to allocate congressional districts and electoral college votes to that state. Laura is exactly right. Democrats are basically harvesting electoral power on the backs of these illegal migrants. It, it shouldn't be happening. And when I put a simple vote forward that only citizens can be counted for the purposes of allocating congressional districts and electoral votes, the Democrats just went nuts. Chuck Schumer threatened to shut the government down. Uh, we ground it down to the very last hour. Finally, I think they had an important event that they needed to attend. They agreed to put it to the floor for a vote. And as you said, every single Democrat voted to not allow uh, just citizens alone to be counted but to also include the counting of illegal migrants. Now think about where people are fleeing in this nation. Citizens are leaving New York, they're leaving Illinois, they're leaving California, where are the sanctuary cities located? New York City, Chicago, San Francisco, Los Angeles. They're actually creating these magnets so they can backfill and create more, quote, bodies to count so that they can get more electoral votes. And we got one of the Brooklyn, we got a U.S. Congressman from Brooklyn, Yvette, uh, Yvette Clark said the, said the quiet part out loud just the other day. She said, I need these illegal migrants for purposes of redistricting. And you know what's so rich, Maria? Her district, the same one that Chuck Schumer used to have when he served in the Congress, her district has this school in Brooklyn that they told the school children to go home and study by Zoom because they needed that schoolhouse to house illegal migrants. That's what's happening here in America. That's wow. the motive behind the crime at our border.
Well, I mean, this is so disturbing, Senator. You're an elected official. Is there nothing else you can do about this? We are headed for a presidential election. Yeah. Do you worry that the illegal population in America will vote in this upcoming election? And it's a great concern there, that, as, as Laura mentioned in the, in the clip earlier. It's a great concern with these states that don't require any sort of ID, that type of thing. You know, there was a commission that was put in place uh, back in the 90s, led by President Jimmy Carter and by Secretary of State James Baker, two highly respected individuals. They identified several things that led to a deep concern in voter integrity. Some of those are being deployed right now by the Democrats. Mail-out ballots, ballot harvesting, no voter ID, all of these subject elections to great concerns regarding voter integrity. And that's exactly what the Democrats are pushing. And then when you think about the fact that they were able to count illegal migrants in terms of holding on to congressional seats and electoral votes, it makes it, you know, they win even before they've gotten these people to vote. So though the power of those citizens, if you will, who do vote in states that have a high proportion of illegal migrants, they have more power in states than, than states like Tennessee, where we don't have such a high proportion of illegal migrants. That violates the principle of one person, one vote here in America. There y'all go. So somebody said the, the link... The link for what? MX Network, you guys, is in the description of this video, if that's what you mean, over there on YouTube. Um, if you go to the description of the video at the bottom, you guys, it the link is there. And if you log in um, and don't go directly to the video, of course, we have lots of sections. The MX Network is not just me. So go to uh, the Michi X section and all my lives are there. OK, um, so, yeah. I just want to throw that out there. I just want y'all to know, like, before we get out of here for YouTube, like, y'all country crazy as hell, y'all, okay? So if anybody's coming to watch this later and you're not coming over to MX Network, let me just, like, leave y'all with that thought. Like, if there's ever a time to get the fuck up and do something, it would be now, y'all. It would be, like, right the fuck now, okay? Um, somebody said this sounds like some illegal shit. Like, yeah, how about not, not illegal? How about unconstitutional? Use that word. Use that word instead. Much stronger one, more accurate one. Fuck illegal. This is unconstitutional. There are so many things this government is doing to us that is unconstitutional. And if we're going to talk about the Constitution, then let's talk about the fact that the Constitution also gives the citizens the right to over fucking throw this government that is committing tyranny on the people and are doing the things that they are not supposed to do to us, like letting everybody come in, using all of our funds and our resources, literally flipping the script and making us the, the, the poor fucked up people that are displaced while giving everybody else our space. Like all of this shit is against the constitution. Now they will tell you if there's ever a day where we rise up just like they did on January the 6th and went there to the Capitol because they felt that their constitutional rights had been fucked over because they felt that that election had been stolen from Trump. Okay. So that's why they went there. The truth is the constitution says they have the right to do that. But then when you do it, they tell you, you face up to 20 years in prison. This is my motto y'all like y'all listening. If everybody do it, they can't arrest us all. So can we just all do it together? That's that's what I want to say. Y'all heard me? Okay. We just got to do it together. They can't arrest us all. They cannot arrest all the people in America. We just need to go and not send like 300 motherfuckers. We need to send millions of motherfuckers to tear this bitch down. That's what I propose. But of course, you know, that's probably not going to never happen because y'all think y'all going to be going to work and living your little daddy lives and going back to your apartment. We all about to be homeless. You going to be working 32 hour week jobs, four hour day a week. You ain't going to have no job. You ain't got no friends. You're going to be talking to robots. Y'all going to be having computer kids. I can't take it. I'm 40. Five, y'all got um, y'all got more to deal with this than I do. I'm closer to the other end and not the bullshit no more. So I don't know what to tell y'all. But yeah, your government it'd be like whooping your ass, and we don't do nothing about it. And I just really want you to know, there's nobody coming to save us as a country. Period. Okay, people in the country treat us like shit that run the country. People outside the country don't give a fuck about us, and they use America to the benefit it has, or they hate the fuck out of America. Like we hate America. We live there. We hate this motherfucker too, right? And so I want you to, at the end of the day, if you as the citizens of this country are tired of how you're being treated, 
it's up to you to get up and do something about it. So anyway, I'm going to tell you what I think that we should do about it. Um, and uh, let me say this, because somebody keeps coming in here. Even we was having conversations out about this. And it was like, Michi be on Trump dick. So let me be on Trump dick one more time before I leave here. Okay. Since y'all keep coming in here screaming that shit. I want you to know that I believe they did steal the election from Trump. And they're trying to steal it again, right in front of your fucking faces. You didn't believe it the first time. Maybe you'll believe it the second time. And with that said, I'm going to go over to MX Network now, and I will catch you guys on YouTube later. If you're not following us, we will see you guys tomorrow momentarily, and then we'll be going over to MX Network again. Again, on Tuesday, you guys have the full video over here on YouTube, but the rest of the shows are over on Net MX Network for the full ones. So again, the links are in the description, and we're about to get out of here, okay? So, all right, y'all. Bye-bye, YouTube. I will see you guys later.